Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 11th, 2021 from Luke chapter 14, Jesus Dines with a Pharisee, part two. Previously, we heard that Jesus had been invited to dine with some Pharisees. Jesus healed one person on the Sabbath, and then he taught that we should not rank ourselves above people, but instead to humble ourselves. So Jesus continues this theme in verse 12. Jesus said also to the man who had invited him, when you give a dinner or a banquet, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors, lest they also invite you in return and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just maybe jesus just gave us some insight on why jesus had been invited to this dinner maybe this religious leader thought he could you know one up everyone else and invite this great teacher jesus now jesus tells us to be humble not to expect to be repaid here on earth, but in heaven above, and to invite the poor, the lame, the undesirable, so to speak. I would imagine this would have made the host a little uncomfortable. He just got chastised indirectly by Jesus. And during these times, I will admit, sometimes people like to change the subject, you know, to deflect the tension. Notice the response of one of the dinner guests, verse 15. When one of those who reclined at table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Wow, what a deflection. Jesus had just said, invite the poor, and the response was an assumption that everyone around the table will be with God in heaven above. Notice how Jesus then attacks that assumption. Verse 16, but Jesus said to him, a man once gave a great banquet and invited many. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servants to say to those who had been invited, come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go out and see it. Please have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to his servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and crippled and blind and lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you have commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in that my house may be filled for I tell you, none of those men who were invited shall taste my banquet. Jesus notes that those who were initially invited were not going to be at the banquet. Boy, this would also be, you could say, another slam against the host. Did they learn from Jesus or were they offended by Jesus? Because that's the question. Really, we don't know what was in the hearts of each person who was around the table. But we do know that the Pharisees did plot to have Jesus killed and crucified. Jesus again points us to the poor, not to be repaid here on earth, but instead to be a servant to others around us. Join me again tomorrow as Jesus tells us to bear our own crosses. God's peace and blessings be with you, and thank you for listening, and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to 
Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.